Recently, I read an email from an employee to his HR manager and to his supervisor, in which that employee was asking for a certain safety inspection to be conducted sooner than later at his office. And that email request started with the following words, and I'm quoting. Even though the HR department and the management have been absolutely useless over the past three years, I would still like to make the following request. Now, think about these words and about this tone. Will the reader, whether it's the HR, the manager, or whoever else that's making decisions, will they feel excited and encouraged about helping that employee to make whatever he wants happen? Or are they going to get mad, frustrated, and wanting to retaliate after reading this email? No one feels good when they read this kind of email, if it's directed at them. Well, no one agrees that they're useless, even if it's true. And if it's not true, they're going to get really mad. So. If that employee had a good relationship with his management, that relationship is going to go down quickly. And if he already had a bad relationship with whoever he wrote this email to, that, man, that relationship is going to get even worse. There is absolutely no benefit in sending this kind of email, this kind of angry, rude email, regardless of the circumstances. There is yet another reason why this email is not going to help that employee in any way. Let's say he's terminated. Let's say, let's say he's terminated for an unlawful reason and somehow he brings a claim for wrongful termination and retaliation for being fired after he brought up some safety concerns at his workplace. And then during trial or arbitration, the lawyers who represent the employer are going to take that email, they're going to blow it up on an overhead, and they're going to show it to the judge, to the arbitrator, to the jury, to whoever else makes decisions. And they're going to ask everyone, look at this email and ask yourself, what would happen if you sent this email to your supervisor? How many seconds after you hit enter would you be gone out of your office? Most people know that as soon as they send this kind of email, they will be fired for insubordination, for being rude, for verbal violence, for whatever. Nobody likes to receive these kinds of emails. And while this one email might not make or break the case, it certainly does not help that employee in any way whatsoever. It's not going to help him with his relationships, with his management. It's not going to help him get that inspection sooner or later because people naturally don't like receiving rude requests that come with accusations of being useless. And this kind of email is certainly not going to help that employee win his case or get a larger settlement or a larger ver verdict in court or arbitration. So make sure that you do not send emails that make the reader feel like retaliating against you unless you absolutely have to. And when you do, it doesn't have to be rude. If you have certain concerns, if you're asking for something, there is no reason to preface your request with telling the people who you're making requests to how useful and how ineffective they are at what they do. It's not going to accomplish anything. So don't do it. Thank you.